Hello dear YouTube viewers and welcome once again to my video blog. Um, there's been a lot going on in my life in, in the last few weeks and so I've been very very busy, hence why I haven't made a blog in over a month now. But fortunately it's mostly good news. Um, for one, I have been featured in uh, this weekend's last Saturday's Gazettes. Um, a journalist interviewed me um, for an article she was doing on transgender youth and there ended up, you know, uh, being a big article in the Gazette uh, that talks in, in large part about, you know, my experience going to school from the kindergarten all the way until uh, university as a trans person. With a link to my blog. Um, so obviously I was pretty happy about that. I was also pretty happy to see that the Gazette published actually for two weeks in a row some big articles about transgender youth, you know, with a lot of useful contents and uh, resources for trans people. Uh, the article about me was like the, the second article in a series, if you will. Um, so that was pretty pretty positive, you know, and some of uh, some of uh, my friends and friends of Aaron have uh, ended up reading the Gazette, you know, and uh, you know, told us, hey, we read about you in the newspapers, and uh, it was pretty fun. They also put a, a photo collage that I made of basically pictures of myself uh, before and after transition. Um, if you want to see the article in question, or at least the online version of this article, uh, I posted links at uh, traininggirl15.com, so you can find links to uh, the online version of the Gazette, which, by the way, is a local Montreal newspaper. Um, the less fortunate part, I guess, is that I was hoping this would actually drive more traffic uh, to my blog. It hasn't really, but, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm happy that uh, the Gazette is doing this and that, uh, you know, younger trans people, you know, are going to have uh, articles that, with information about places where they can get help in Montreal and that, you know, the general public is be being made more aware of these things. Um, apart from that, well, I think I told you guys basically that um, there was some chance that I would be going to Japan for a conference this coming summer. Unfortunately, we didn't quite make uh, our deadline uh, in the lab at university, so we didn't really have enough material to publish to this conference now. But at the same time, you know, uh, with what happened to Japan recently, I guess it might not have been, you know, as fun of a trip as uh, I would have hoped a couple of months ago. So maybe it's for the best, you know, another time. Um, on the upside, um, we, me and the other people uh, at my lab in university and my supervisors are going to be visiting Mozilla um, next weekend. They're, they're basically inviting us to come give a talk about our research project and uh, they might invite some people from other companies like Intel and Facebook and all that. So we're going to be getting a little bit of visibility. They even mentioned that they might broadcast it live. I don't know if that's going to happen yet. I don't know if my supervisor really wants to publicize our project a lot at this point, but um, still fun, you know, free trip paid by Mozilla to San Francisco, well, to Mountain View, actually, but it's still going to be fun. Um, I guess at this point, you know, a lot of you people might actually be wondering what kind of research it is that I am doing for my PhD. Um, I've been pretty secretive about it so far. I guess I will mention... I'll give you an idea of what it is. We're basically uh, we're developing a just-in-time compiler for JavaScript. JavaScript, for those of you who don't know, is uh, basically the language that powers, you know, uh, the client side of the web. And you know, companies like Google are really pushing to uh, to have you know applications written in JavaScript, big applications, basically the equivalent of uh, you know desktop office applications, and eventually maybe even video games. So basically we're, we're working on a JavaScript JIT and the part of the work that I'm working on is basically a, an optimization engine to make the performance as competitive as possible and hopefully uh, you know, even beat out the competition in terms of, uh, of speed. We're basically going to be competing directly with uh, you know, Mozilla, Firefox, uh, SpiderMonkey engine and Google's V8. Uh, you know, so it's, it's a big challenge, you know, but uh, I like challenges. Another interesting aspect of this project is that our JavaScript uh, JIT is actually written itself in JavaScript and it compiles itself. Uh, I guess this is pretty technical for those of you who aren't fami familiar with this. 
but this is actually pretty novel. We think we're the first JavaScript uh, just-in-time compiler written in JavaScript, so that makes it pretty novel as well. Uh, anyways, enough of that. Uh, I guess you non-technical people might be getting bored. There's been yeah many other things happening. Um, I, Aaron and I ended up going um, two weeks ago to a strip spelling bee here. It was an event basically uh, like a regular spelling bee except that every time you uh, you screw up in terms of a spelling word you have to take off one third of your clothing and I actually decided at the last minute that I was going to participate because they were missing some participants and I joined in the in the second round and you know obviously this event you know is uh, is made to be comical and all that and the words that they picked were all words that you've never heard of and that are all super hard to spell and all that you know it's meant to basically uh, make you strip and I was I was shy and I was a little bit you know stressed about it but I figured it was a nice way of challenging myself you know I was uh, in a queer friendly environment but I knew that I was going to have to basically do a strip tease you know in front of, of a big audience and uh, yeah obviously I was stressed but I ended up doing it and it actually went pretty well, you know. Uh, I was expecting, you know, that at the last part, when I had to spell my last word and strip down to my underwear, that people were going to have, like, a big surprise reaction, you know, basically noticing, obviously noticing that I'm trans, and, you know, being surprised. But to my own surprise, it seems that nobody noticed. You know, I was thinking, I was wearing, you know, regular underwear, and I wasn't talked, I was thinking, everybody's going to see, you know, that there's a bulge there that's a little bit unusual. But it seems that people just didn't notice, you know, like the lighting wasn't that great, I guess. And people are probably just not that observant. So there, there was no special reaction, you know, they reacted to me stripping the same way that they reacted to everybody else, you know, stripping. Just like by, you know, clapping and, uh, you know encouraging me to uh, do what I was doing and all that and you know I think that this is uh, it's the kind of experience you know that maybe uh, makes me realize you know that most people don't care most people aren't that observant and you know sometimes you're stressed you know as, as a trans person about passing and all that but even you know maybe I, I can pass even in my underwear you know because people just don't notice so it's pretty funny and yeah, uh, recently I had been thinking also about uh, getting a new piercing. I was thinking of getting a lip piercing, you know, just because I wanted to be uh, a little more daring, you know, to, uh, to have a little bit more of an edgy look. And um, I, w I was pretty decided on doing it. And I ended up taking an appointment at a piercing place, you know, and going there. And then basically the guy suggested, you know, oh, we're gonna try placing some, some rings on your lips, you know, without doing the piercing to see how it looks. And when we did that, I realized I didn't like the look of it at all. I actually wasn't very pleased <laughs> with, with the way it looked. And I decided I didn't want to do it. Um, and I think, you know, that's probably for the best, you know. Uh, I wanted to get a piercing that day, but since I wasn't really happy with the way it looked, it probably was best that I not do it. But in the end, I ended up getting a uh, uh, piercing on my ears, I ended up getting three little rings here, uh, which I hope you can see well on the camera. And yeah, I think they look pretty cute and I'm pretty happy uh, happy with that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, oh, I should mention, I discovered something uh, pretty interesting recently, is that um, there's um, you know websites that offer discounts, like a Groupon, Team Buy, living social and all that. And here in Montreal, a lot of these websites have uh, discounts on uh, laser hair removal and IPL hair removal and all that. And they can be very, very cheap. I ended up buying, um, for $600, six treatments for my full legs and bikini line. And at the regular price, this would have cost me something like $3,000 at uh, this uh, IPL hair removal place. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. And they keep pumping out these deals all the time. So 
So for those of you who live in big cities and uh, who are looking to get, you know, hair removal on your face, I suggest that maybe you subscribe to places like, like Groupon and all that because those hair removal deals seem to come up really, really often and sometimes they're, you know, as high as like 80% off and it can be really, really worthwhile because, you know, uh, laser hair removal and all that is extremely expensive and, you know, it's a nice way to, to make it more affordable for, uh, especially for us trans people who often need to, you know, get a lot of that. Um, yeah, so I suggest you check it out. It might be a very worthwhile resource for you. Um, and uh, that's it for today. Um, I will probably do another video blog uh, this week, possibly about uh, prejudice. And uh, yeah, there's a few other topics I've been thinking of discussing. So that's it. Maybe I'll also do um, a video blog about my research for those of you who maybe want to hear more about what kind of research it is I'm doing. Okay, that's it for today, people. Bye bye.